So, I had a request from a young lady that is literally just now graduating, or not graduating, but um, completing 10th grade of high school. And apparently it has been brought to my attention now that there are those in their teenage years that are doing this trend where it's called having a cuckold boyfriend. And I really don't actually understand why you would need two boyfriends where one of them is only getting anything actually out of the relationship. Apparently with this cuckold boyfriending is where you have one boyfriend where you actually are in the actual relationship, i.e. kissing, hugging, holding hands, etc., etc. As we all know, teenagers do a lot more than that nowadays, but I'm not going to go into that. And then the other boyfriend, or as I would technically call him in this stage, manslave, um is literally just there to uh, romantically woo this woman in hopes of actually getting anything out of it. Which, in a way, yes, that is an old tradition of wooing the woman, of courting the woman, uh, in hopes for something more. But with this one, it's more of the guy will take her on dates, things like that, which is cool and whatever. But then this the, the woman will actually make the man do her chores, and give her money, and in some cases make him wear a device that, <laughs> I'm sorry, this, to, to, to me it's just a little bit funny that w girls, or women, or any female uh, gender-specific people are doing this, but um, they make this man wear a chastity belt. Is, is what it is. It's a chastity belt. They call it a chastity device, but it's a chastity belt. Something that was, has not been implemented since the medieval times when it was put on women by their fathers so that they could be pure, so that they wouldn't lose their virginity until the wedding night. Okay. Pretty much what this device or belt does is literally it encases the entire area, pu pubic area, and I mean their, 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 their penis, their balls, their asshole. In a way, it literally makes it to where not only can they not get any kind of actual physical gratification, i.e. by a, another person or even by themselves with their hand, but <laughs> it also means they can't pee or shit. Because that's what it does. I'm sorry. There's no little hole or no little flap. No. It's it's not. I don't give a fuck if it's cloth or what. Literally, the, the, it, it, it's, it's a locked diaper. Is pretty much what it is. That they can't do anything with. And this woman has... Or, or, or this girl. Sorry. No offense. You're 16. I understand. That's... In most states, age of consent, all that. But you're still a girl. You're not. You're not a woman yet. Sorry, <laughs> young lady, maybe young young woman, maybe maybe. But you're still a girl. Um. She is. She, uh, you know, she she has been asked by by a man if he could be her cuckold, and she's wanting to know what she should do. And apparently she likes him, but she's not physically attracted to him. Um, if you like someone, physical attraction should not really come into it. I'm sorry. I understand nine times out of ten, liking someone, you know, it starts off with physical attraction, whatever. You know, you, you, you think that they're s symmetrical enough in face and body that they're attractive. Um... I will personally say, when I first got together with my boyfriend, I didn't honestly think he was the greatest looking. But I liked him for his personality. I liked him for himself. And I'm not going to lie, you know, we have done things together, but we've never done anything like that because that's just cruel and unusual punishment for the male species. Okay. Um, 
So with that being said, if you like someone, it shouldn't matter if, if, if they're honestly, you know, quite, a, you know, really good looking or anything like that. It's the insides that count. And no, I'm not talking about, about their lungs and heart and, you know, colon and all that. No, I'm talking about how they are as a person. If they're, you know, a very good person, they have good morals, you know, their personality, com you know, connects with yours, things like that, then that's what you want. You don't want a relationship that is literally just based on fucking looks. Because those relationships never turn out good, okay? Trust me, I've done that. It sucks. Okay? Um... So, no, I would say don't have a cuckold boyfriend. I would say if you do like this man, th this boy, even if you don't think he's the greatest looking, at least, you know, just attempt to have an actual relationship with him. No, I'm not talking about, you know, having sex with him yet or even kissing or anything like that. That's st that shit can wait. Okay, it can. And honestly, coming from someone who lost their virginity at 14... Wait as long as you're comfortable with, okay? Being in a relationship isn't about the physical. And I understand as a teenager, that's all you're about is the physical. You, you know, you, you, you want the hugging, you want the kissing, you want the sex. I get that. I was there not even fucking three years ago, okay? But... You have to understand that as you get older, you're going to look back and go, oh my god, I was a fucking horrible person. Okay? that that That's exactly what, what, what your adult mind is going to say. And I say this because that's what I'm thinking about the, the these girls that apparently are doing this. Not you per se, but the girls that are actually doing this. Now... If you do decide to do this, and uh, her second question was, if I do the do this, you know, should I allow him to do my chores and give me money and all this other stuff? Um, no, because at that point, you're a whore. You may not actually be giving him any kind of physical relationship, but he at that point he is paying you for a relationship. He is paying you to be your to, or to be his girlfriend, okay? That makes you a whore. I'm sorry. You may not, it, it may not, not be nice. It may not be sweet, but it's the fucking truth, okay? Now, if you do decide to do this and everything and whatever, don't put him in a fucking chastity belt because... Like I said, first off, that hasn't been implemented since the medieval times. And not only that, but how would you feel having to go around walking in your shit and your piss 24-7 all because a man did that to you? Wouldn't feel so good, would it? You'd make you feel like a piece of shit. It'd make you feel like an object. You know, I'm just saying, and that's exactly what he's going to feel like, whether he thinks it now or not, whether he feels that way, you know, throughout, throughout the time or not. Trust me, at some point, he's going to feel like that. And all you're going to do is fuck, fucking psychologically fuck him up. OK, he's going to need counseling like no other. And to any white boy or or any boy, because apparently in this in, in, in this camp that this girl is going to. It's the white boys that are doing that that are having this treatment done. Get the fuck out of that. You deserve better. You deserve to be treated as a fucking human being, not as a fucking object. Okay? Okay. Now, her last question was, have I have I noticed that, you know, men of the opposite color are better? Is pretty much what she's wanting to know. Is if I think if I've noticed that they're 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 stronger and more dominant in sports and all this other stuff. And honestly, 
I'm going to tell you, they're built differently than white, white, white people. They are. And you'll see that in both, not, and not just in the males, but in the females too. Okay. They, they are built differently. So yes, they are, you know, you know, when it comes to basketball and football and, and sports, yes, they are, pre they are the race that is predominantly in there. But do I think that they're more attractive? No. Personally, I don't. Do I think that they're better? No, because I don't honestly feel that anybody is better than anyone. Okay. I, to me, your physical aspects don't mean anything. And if you're so shallow to, to you, they do, you need to take a look in, at yourself in the mirror and figure out what the fuck happened to you to make you think that it is. Okay. When you're in a relationship, it is not a physical one. It is a spiritual one. Whether you believe you have a soul or not. You have a fucking conscious. We all know that. That's kind of been proven in the fact that, you know, we actually think. Um, but at the same time, it is a spiritual one. It is a conscious relationship. You, when you enter a relationship, you enter that in this aspect of, am I going to be... Is, is this the one? Is this the one I marry? You don't want to be that bitch that all these boys are going to go back to their high schools with or talking about, oh, yeah, I did this with this chick and da-da-da-da-da and she was dressing like this uh, like after a week, da-da-da-da-da. Because you know what? That's what's going to happen. And to the, to the, to the girls that in this camp that have lost their virginities to this boy, I really hope it was worth it. Because I can almost guarantee you that they're literally going to go back to their school and they're going to brag about how they fucked a slut. Or whore. And no, I'm not saying you're a slut. And I'm not really saying you're a whore. Except for with the white boys. Because, you know, you're getting paid to be their girlfriend. Sorry. <laughs> Look up the definition. It literally says... That a whore is someone who is paid for relations. Now, it may not. Now, yes, it mainly means sexual relationship relations, and it probably even says that. I'm not exactly looking it up on Google at the moment. Sorry, but you are being paid to be in a relationship that is a whore or an escort. If you want to be fancy about it, okay. But no, I I personally don't think you're a slut. I think you're a normal teenage girl who is trying to sadistically play the field because you're taking enjoyment out of degrading a human. Okay, that's that's fucked up. And I'm a pretty sadistic person myself in the fact that I love to piss people off because I think it's hilarious that night if anybody falls on their ass, I fucking laugh my ass off. But, to answer your question, no, I do not think that you should actually be, like, have him as a, as, as a cuckold boyfriend. I believe that if you honestly want a relationship with him, have a relationship with him. And only him. If you choose that you want to date somebody else, you know, after being in the relationship with him, that's fine. You know, tell him, hey, I'm sorry, it's not really working out. You know, I thought I liked you, apparently I don't. It happens. It really does. It happens all the time. But I personally do would say don't do it. Don't have a cuckold boyfriend. Don't be part of that trend. Because honestly, that is a fucked up trend. It really is. Um, honestly, that's really all I have to say on, the, on this topic. If there's another topic anybody else wants me to talk about, please leave a comment. I... I'll read it, I'll do my research, whatever, and I'll give you my opinion and my advice on it. Uh, like the video, subscribe, that's always an awesome thing. Y'all have a wonderful day, <laughs> and peace out.